Hello, this is David from Bright Mill Shepherd's Loft, and today I would like to demonstrate you guys uh, the Divi uh, th theme. Uh, I have sat down with it. We've got a client that I'm donating a web design to. We're, we're re redesigning their homepage. And so I sat down with them and I created a plan. So we used a white uh, whiteboard uh, and we drew out uh, what we want the homepage to look like uh, logo, menu. And then the first row was who, help, and the call number. And then um, a, like a Google map and directions with a button. And then we've got some ideas for the footer down here. So I've kind of got a little plan, uh, wireframe uh, mapped out uh, what we're going to do today. And so I want to show you this. Uh, so this is the Divi theme, uh, Divi 2.0. And this is the theme that... Uh, the framework that Shepherd's Loft's uh, WordPress hosting solution is kind of geared around. Uh, so I wanted to show you that. And then we're going to get started. So this is, I'm already logged into the dashboard uh, for the website. I'm going to go down to Appearance Themes. And uh, we're going to do this in real time. So uh, by the time this video is done, hopefully we'll have a decent looking design. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, activate this theme. And then we're going to start uh, rebuilding their homepage. So let's go up to pages. I don't know if they if we already have a homepage or not. So I'm going to go up there and check that out. Uh, so no, no homepage currently. So let's just make us a new homepage. See if I can fill up the screen here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so let's just call this one home. And we're going to use the Divi Builder. Okay. Going to scroll down. Here's our Divi Builder. I'm going to make sure I got the, the plan available to look at over here. Okay, so we want to, so the first row we want to be a three column. So let's insert our columns. Here's a three column layout. Okay, then we want the first section to be who information. So I don't already have, so let's go to the website and so we can just copy and paste this information over. And, and you can see it's already, it's a disaster right this minute, <laughs> but that's okay, we're gonna fix that. Um, so we want who information. So who, Okay, so who we are, we'll go to that page, and we're just going to copy some of this information right here. So we'll just grab this first sentence. So here, and then we're going to scroll down, and we're going to do uh, text. Dark. Okay, so I don't know, maybe we want to center this information. Uh, and then here's our content here. I'll go ahead and rename the admin label just so that when we look at this we'll know what uh, what section we're looking at. Okay. So I don't see I don't see a place with this module I don't see a place for us to put our um, to put our title on so I'm gonna hit save and exit on this one and then I'm gonna try a different model uh, module to see if I can find one that looks a little bit better or has the components that I want. Uh, so let's see. So I didn't really, I didn't plan this out um, other than our wireframe. So just bear with me here a second. I don't see a better. Okay, we got a blurb option here, so we can try this. And sometimes you got to try a couple of different things to see which one looks the best. So I'm going to do who we are. And then this one's got a URL too, which is great. So now I can link it to the page that I want it to go to. Okay, so then there's a place to put my text down here. And then I'm gonna go back over to the live website. I'm gonna copy just the part after the .com. And I'm gonna put that in the URL. Okay, so it's gonna to link to that page. 
I can also do an image, an icon, I can do all kinds of things, but I'm just going to save this part first. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to put this piece on the, on the bottom if I can. I wonder if I can put that on by. There we go. I'll put my blurb on top. Okay, so now let's see if I can make my other two blurbs. Okay, here's a blurb, and this one's going to be help. Let's see if I've already got a page built with the help section. Oh, here it is, help center. So let's go look at that page. I'll grab the URL while it's loading. Um, I think maybe that was just a section. So let's see, what else do we have? Parenting and life skills, that could be help. Okay, so we'll link them to this page instead. And then what else do I need? I just need a little introduction blurb here. Okay, I'll grab just grab this first sentence, maybe even this information here as well. I don't want that to be so big, so let me let me pull that down just a regular text paragraph. Okay. All right, I'll save and exit that one. Okay, I got two blurbs in. Let's see. Now the third blurb, we really just want a phone number. Um, so let's see. Let's check the contact page to see what kind of information we have. Okay, so here's a phone number here. And we got office hours. So maybe that would be a good thing to include next to the call information. So maybe we call this call for help. And then I'm going to paste this information down here. Our office hours. So this is the number they can call. Maybe we will make that bigger. Okay. All right. We'll save and exit that. So we got a little inconsistencies there, but uh, we'll see in a minute how well that looks. Okay, so we need to save our page that we've got built. So we got our first row, so let's publish that. Okay. So it looks like we still got the so we don't have home in the navigation yet. So we're going to have to go fix our navigation so we kind of see what we're doing. So here's my home page. And this is a lot more information than the other two columns. So we'll have to balance out our information. So we're going to go back and we'll go ahead and set our logo on our navigation so that we can kind of see what's going on. So appearance menus. And I noticed there wasn't anything under the, okay, so it's set up as a drop-down help center. So a lot of times when you change a theme, your locations get messed up. So you got to go back and, and reset the menu locations. See, so they're all set to select. So we're going to re reassign. So the primary is going to be the main, secondary, okay, we got top maybe, and we don't have a footer yet. So we'll save those. Okay, so that should fix that part. And then we also want to, we have the community page set as the home page. We want to go change our home page. So we're going to go to settings, reading. Okay, so here we go. So we'll just change this to the home page now that we have one. And the community is really the blog page, is what we wanted to do there. So we'll go down and save those changes. And as you saw, we didn't have a logo, so we can go ahead and set the logo real quick and get that piece done. So appearance. Oh, sorry, we gotta scroll a little bit down. So the new version has its own little place down here, so we can go to theme options, Divi theme options. Click on that. Okay, so here's a place for our logo to get added. I'm gonna hit upload, and then I'm gonna go to my library. 
And then I'm just going to scroll through until I find our logo. Don't know if this is the correct. Oh, yeah, this is the correct one. Okay. Set as logo. And then we're going to save this page. All right. So we should have got um, quite a bit done there. We're going to make sure we empty our, our caching. Usually just keep that open in a separate tab. Then we can just delete cache. Okay. Now I'm going to click on the logo. It should take us to the home. There we go. Okay, so now we got our top menu, which just is contact us. We got our drop down menus back. And we got our logo in play. So already within just a few minutes, we've been able to change the entire appearance of the design. Uh, so these are. So now we can work on balancing out these. So we got who we are, help. Um, so maybe we can change this top or just make this phone number smaller on there. So let's go back to our home page. So pages. We've only got two, two pages, but here we go. So we can, we can use the search function to get there faster if we know the name of the page. Now we can edit, go back to editing, editing the home page layout. Let's scroll down to our editor. Here it is. Okay, so we just got to shorten up this call for help right here. So we'll just make this one smaller. I almost just want to put this in the top. People know what the hours are. And we'll just set all this to paragraph so that it matches the other two columns. So I'm just going to paste that in. Call, call this number. Okay, and then I don't think we had a link. So we'll let's go find a link. If they don't want to see this other one is uh, linked to the classes. Um, so let's link the other one to maybe the contact page. So I'm gonna grab this URL. So if they don't want to call, they can they can email us. Okay, there we go. Of course, I got to empty my cache. Doesn't look like my cache got emptied. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, we'll come back to that in a second. All right, so let's work on our second row, which is supposed to be the map and directions. And actually, that's supposed to go to the contact page. So <clears throat> we can do that a couple different ways. We can add a new section. Um, and actually, it's kind of good to add another section because you can uh, you can change the background colors, which we may do here in a second. Um, I think it would be nice if we did like a two-third, one-third uh, format. So we're, we're mixing it up as we go down. We don't want uh, everything to be the same number of columns. We want to mix it up, make it a little more interesting. Okay, so on this one, yeah, may, let's make this uh, background color, different color. So set background color. Here we go. Um, I saw a lot of nice blues in there, so let's just pick a random blue for the moment. Save and exit that. We want to put our map in the two-thirds area. So we're going to add a module here. I'm looking for the map. So scrolling down. Here it is, map. Okay. Now there should be some settings here. I 
And then over in the right column, I want to put I just want to put some text, maybe even just a blurb or a call to action. Let's try a call to action this time. Just email us and then I'm going to put that same link to the contact page so they can go there. Button text. We'll make that email us as well. I'll change this to contact us. That way we have something different. Okay, it's going to open up in the same window. That's fine. Use the background color. Um, so on this one, we want to change this to no because we already got a background color coming from the uh, from the section. Okay, and then I don't really have any text to add. Got an address here. We can put that in there. That be, might be nice searchable information for the home page. Okay, I'm going to save and exit that. And I'm going to go ahead and update my page. Hopefully we can get the cache to delete this time. Okay, so we are just trying to finish up the map on the home page. And here we go. So I think we what we do next is add a new pin. And uh, the title, uh, I'm going to leave the title empty see can we just uh, okay map pin address so I'm gonna paste the address here I already had it on my clipboard from earlier so I'm gonna hit the find button and then it should appear on below and that's pretty close to where to where I believe the office is actually I think it's a little further over this way if it'll let me move it I think it's this last building right here so let's see if it'll let me reset that and then I'm gonna save this and then I'm gonna save and exit okay so let's update our page okay so let's go check out the home page and see if we got it working looks like it's popping in down there and yes it's zoomed in pretty tight but but yes it's in the right place okay and then we've got our button that takes us to the contact page okay alright so this is looking pretty good uh, I think we're ready for our third row so we're gonna go back to our home page edit a minute ago we had a little bit of problem with the map um, not working, not popping to open. So the issue was with, um, actually with Jetpack. So we're going to turn all of our, we, I turned all the plugins off. I deactivated all the plugins except for three of them. So I left my Elegant Themes, Updater, my Security, and my Cache. Um, I left those three because um, I definitely need those. And I deactivated all the other plugins. And then I deleted the Jetpack plugin, which a lot of times the issue uh, specifically is probably the JSON. So I'm gonna reactivate. Uh, I'm gonna reactivate my plugins here, except for maybe that one. And this one in the bottom. So I'm gonna reactivate those plugins. And then let's see, let's refresh this page and just see if we still have any issues with uh, editing our map. Presto, it still works. 
save and exit. So it was most definitely the jetpack, and so we can uh, we can look at that here when we get finished. So I'm gonna go back. So we're ready to add our third row, and we wanted really wanted an, uh, a row for events, um, but I don't know that we already have events posted on the website already. So let's go to our community page and see what we have. So we have a mission. There's the third annual Precious Life luncheon. Um, and the motorcycle ride for life. Um, so we could add those in as kind of placeholders. Um, so let's see if we can add, uh, add those events in there. Well, actually, I think what we wanted to do is we wanted to create a library item for those events and then be able to add them in here. Uh, so then we could add from library. So let's add our last section. I'm going to add, well, the last section is the footer. So let's go to our library now. So we're going to scroll down and go to Divi and Divi library. So we're going to leave this page. And let's see if we can create these two events, the bicycle and the walkathon. Okay, so actually I forgot. We can actually create those right directly from the home page. So I'm gonna go back to the home page. We're gonna create these and then we're gonna save them to the library. So I'm gonna add a standard section that's 50-50 according to what we agreed upon. And then here I want to create an event um, so maybe maybe we just want to have a, a background image uh, with with some type of call to action so we'll have to figure out uh, we'll have to figure out what which module we want to use for this let's see let's just do a call to action and the title is going to be let's see which one we have first. I think there was a oh there's a annual luncheon. So so we'll do an annual precious life luncheon. Okay. And then the button URL, we don't have that yet, so we'll just fill that in later. Um, the button text. Um, let's call it register. And we're not going to use uh, the background color. And then we want to center this text. And so really what we want to do is add a background image. So let's look and see somewhere opens text color. I don't think we add the image here. I think we can add it. Let's check our advanced settings. And background image. Here we go. And we had on the website we had we just had this nice uh, gift image. Actually, it was this one from above. That's Renda there. So. This, which is right here. So let's choose that one. Set as background image. Okay, I'm going to save and exit. And let's update this and see see what we got so far and then we'll build the other one. Okay, get back to my super cache. Right, okay. Let's see, where are we at? Oh, we're on the community page. So let's go back to the home page. Okay, and here's our third row right here. So it's a little too small. We can't see the information, so we'll have to make our, our image bigger for one thing. Maybe we just add some content in there. So let's go to the community page.
Celebrate the gift of life. Okay. Okay, save and exit. I'm gonna go ahead and start our other module. And let's see, we were doing a call to action. Let's see, and then the other one was the bike ride. Okay, motorcycle ride for life. Leave that blank. Button text is register. Background color, no. Here's our background image. There's a nice motorcycle there. But we don't have any text for that event, so let's scroll down. Raise money for life, family, friends. Let's ride. Okay. We'll grab that little bit of information. Put that here. Okay. If I remember correctly, the gallery. Makes it a little better. Makes a little better um, graphic. <clears throat> okay, so the text helps us out, but we still don't see enough of the image to really make this make this nice. Um, and it might be cool if it had a dark background color. So we could swap this out. Uh, we've got black up here, but we don't want to do black. Maybe a couple different blues or just white. Uh, we could swap the colors and make this blue and make this part white. So let's do that. Let's swap out our background colors to really make this come alive. So I'm going to change this one to blue. Which is here. And then on the map, oops, I think I hit the wrong one. Let's try making this one white instead. See how that looks. I don't think we were doing the purple. I think we were doing here. Select the color here. Okay, so if these modules, if the call to action module doesn't work well for you, let's try, let's try something different. I think I like the blurb one. It always seems to work pretty well. So let's see if we can set the background image on that one. There's image width. Header height. Okay. Body line height. Okay, we don't want body line. Header header line. So that's just the line, not the not the size of the module. So that's not quite what we're looking for. So I'm gonna delete that one. I'm gonna go back to the call to action one. See if there's a height. See there's a maximum width. Header font, header font size. Again, we got body and header height. Okay. So let's try the gallery instead. Sometimes you just got to work with these modules to find the one that really, really works for you. Update gallery images. So I'm going to pick this one. Add to gallery. Update gallery. Slider layout, that's fine. 
Show title and caption, no, no. So the problem with this one is we don't have, we have no place to put our title and information. We have a title and caption, which would come from the image. Okay, so really what we want to do is maybe create a slide. I can show you an example. And a lot of times it's, it's easier to do this stuff when you can re reference other things that you've done. Okay, so really this is what we want to do. We want to be able to put a title, an image, and a button on there. So I just can remember, I'm pretty sure I used the gallery to do that. So I'm just going to go check right quick. Oh, and we were refreshing this page because we changed the color scheme, which hasn't updated yet. So I'm checking on the best way that we can make that. So actually we use this slider function. So let's try that instead. So insert slider. It's going to be there's video slider. Here's slider over here. There we go. Add slide. Heading. We want that to be the annual Precious Life Luncheon. Okay, button text. I'm just going to call that register. I'm going to set the slide image. that so save that save and exit okay so I'm going to delete these two and we're going to update this Well, sometimes uh, I've had some problems with the super cache. So if, so if you've got FTP access, I can show you how to fix that. So let's go, I'm just looking to see if it's refreshed. Yeah, there's our color changes. So we're gonna change this to light color. But I kinda like this, uh, this color bar working a little bit better. It kinda separates our logo and navigation. So I kinda like where that's going. Um, and then this is gonna be, this text over here is gonna be set to dark. 
okay I don't mind the map on the white background it actually looks good and here's our slider over here so this is working uh, the picture needs to be cropped so we can do that um, so yeah we've got we've got a good good plan going here we just got to finish up so we're gonna go back to I think the first thing I'm gonna do is start at the top here and I want to set this to the light color okay see right here it says text color dark we want light so save that that's one two that's three Okay, on the map we want to we went to a white background, so actually we can we can shift that a little bit instead of being a pure white. Maybe we can do just a just a light gray. Maybe it'll be a little closer to the background of the Google Map, and then over here we want to set this to dark because there it is right there. Text color dark. Save. Okay. Now we're making some progress. Okay, so now we want to kill this one. I want to copy this information from here. Cut that. And then I'm going to delete that module. I want to add a slider because that works better. Okay, so then a new slide. And there's my heading. Motorcycle ride for life. Button text is going to be register. Okay. Then on the image, I'm going to go ahead and let's see what we want to do. 600 by 375. This one is landscape, so this looks great. Uh, not sure. We probably want something pretty square to fit in this space. Um, so it's 50 50. Um, I guess we could go with something a little more landscape. So let's try. Let's try the 600 by 375. So let's set that one. That one should look pretty good. And then we'll go back and crop the other one. So save and exit. And now I'm going to save all these settings by hitting the update. Okay, so now I want to go back to my media library. I'm just going to open this. I hold the, um, on the Mac, I can hold the Command or Apple key and open, and then press the button. It opens it up in a new tab for me. So then I can come over without losing my place and um, find the Edit Image button on the bottom left over here. Okay. Okay. So we want. I think what we want is 600 by two by 375. I believe was this was the size. Uh, so might take a little work to get it the exact size that we want it. Uh, let's see. So let's try to see if we can type that in. 600 by 375. There we go. Uh, we can just move it into position where we want it. I like the eyes to be in the top third. Uh, and then we can just kind of center that. So this is really kind of weird because you set you select your area and then you click the crop tool button which is like the opposite of Photoshop if you're a Photoshop user so I'm gonna save that and now I've got a a URL for this particular one you can see that it's edited to E144 so I'm gonna copy that link and exit out of this now that should be available over here in our edit window so I'm gonna come back to our slider and I'm going to go change our background image. Automatic parallel, back image, background image. Okay, slider. I'm looking for so if I save and exit, where's my actual? Oh, this is the slider I forgot. Okay, so we're gonna hit the little hamburger over here so we can edit the slide. Okay, so now we should be able to change the background image here. Upload an image. 
And so here's the new one. It's got the E144. So I'm going to set that one. And then save. Save and exit. So this is really set up to be a slideshow. That's why there's two steps here. So this, if you had an additional slide, it would be here. But we're only using one slide. I just want both. I just want one slide with two slideshows so that I can kind of use them as banner ads for two different things. Okay, so we're going to add, uh, let's see, there was also a function there. We want to add these to our library. Uh, so let's see if we can click the blue one here. And so here it is on the bottom left. <laughs> save and add to library. So we're going to save this whole, uh, both of these pieces um, to our library. I'm just going to call it events. Save and add to library. And then we'll go update our page. So hopefully our two images are going to be the same height at this point. And then, let's see, okay, we can close that window. All right, yeah, this is looking great. We've got a nice dark blue bar with white text up at the top. Um, it talks about who we are. That's linking to the Who We Are page. Um, if you need help, this is linking to the Parenting and Life Skills class. Um, then, if you can want to call them, that's here, and that also links to the contact page. Um, so yeah, we got pretty close with the background color. Let's add an ink dropper. So this is where they are. Um, we can try repositioning this map. That would be nice. Um, and then our text is dark over here, so that's looking great. Email us. Okay. We've got a double. <clears throat> it looks like we set the picture twice on our slide, so we need to fix that. But this one over here looks pretty nice, except for this text is kind of hard to read. Uh, but the red shirt, this, this looks awesome other than that. Okay. So let's go back and see if we can fix our slider for the left side. I didn't think I was um, doing that right. So let's go back here. Here's our slide. Okay, watch does. Okay, this is background image, which I'm pretty sure that's the way we did the other one. Oh, and then we have slide image. Okay, so one of these doesn't belong. Let's save that. Save that. So let's just check and see how we did this one. Make sure we're doing it the same way. Okay, so we're using the background image here on this one. So the reason this one's kind of tough is because this is kind of a, a complicated or busy, busy image. Text color light, and then we could try doing a dark color. See if that helps us out. So save that, save and exit. Update. So we're really trying to fine tune our our work here. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Still a little different size. Uh, probably because this text is two lines. Um, the dark text is not doing it for me. That image is probably just too busy. So it's just getting lost. Um, so I think we'll have to go back to, we either got to find a different image or make it um, some white text. So I'm just going to make it white. Maybe there's a drop shadow option. Uh, I do wish it was the same. So let's check the size as well. Make sure we got the same sizes. And then we got to just got to work on the footer. Okay, so let's set our map. Let's fix work on that one first. So kind of the plan in here is okay. New oh, we don't want to do <coughs> new pin. We want to edit our current pin. Oh, and I, did, I didn't put a title on it. Okay, so that's cool. All right, so let's see. I'm just going to zoom out a couple of clicks. 
and see if that helps. Save that. Save and exit. Okay, so let's again. I'm gonna hold the command key and push on the media button, which I gotta scroll up a little bit to get it. Okay, so this image is 600 by 375, which I'm pretty sure I thought we made this one 600 by 375. <clears throat> so I'm not sure. Not sure we'll be getting something different on those. Uh, either way, the, our motorcycle image is not working too well. Okay, so let's. I'm gonna just gr grab something from Google. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put Blue Ridge uh, motorcycle ride. See if I can find something specific to our area. I don't know why I clicked on maps. Okay, I want I want pictures, images. Here we go. Might be kind of busy, but I was kind of hoping for a whole bunch of motorcycles riding together. Yeah, something like this down here. Wonder if these guys will mind if I borrow their photo. Okay, at least for at least for now, and then I can talk with the client about actually um, putting a real one in. Maybe they got one from a previous event. So I'm gonna go down, save that in the save cho choice folder. Local rides. It's actually from Virginia, but that's okay. Add new. Okay, local rides in Virginia. So now I just want to crop this one down, make it make sure it's the 600 by 375 like the other one. Oh, it's so close. Okay, so 600 by 338. So I think what we'll have to do is we'll just have to crop this one down a little bit, the other one down a little bit more. Six hundred by so let's do three twenty-five. Just trim a little bit of it off. Crop just so we can round out the numbers. Okay. Save. Update. Okay, so 600 by 325. I'm going to go back to my library. And I'm just trying to get these two pictures to be the same size. Edit. Okay. So let's save that crop. 325 right there. This is double four, quadruple six. Okay. Gotta edit the slide, click the slide button, scroll down, okay, upload image, media library, here it is right here, 600 by 325, I'm gonna set that one as a background, and then I also wanna make sure we've got this set to light text, which I think is on, should have been on here, maybe it's on the actual slide.
There it is. Text color dark, light, save, save and exit. Okay, and then we also got to replace this one again because we made it shorter. Okay, so this is only triple three sixes, so. Okay, so that one's got four sixes in it. Okay, save, save and exit. All right, that was a lot. It seemed like a lot of work. <laughs> but we're almost there. We really all think all we got to do is our footer. There's the contact. There's the map, and we're we're scrolled out a little bit further. Not as much as I like, um, but it's a little bit better. So we made an improvement. This is definitely better. I can see this white text over the green much better with the register button. Still got an issue with them not being the exact same size. Um, but again, I think it's this text. I forgot about that. So uh, maybe I can just do Precious Life Lunch. Lunch and see if that will fit on one line. Either that or I'm going to make the text smaller. So let's go adjust our our content there. So let's just take out annual precious life luncheon that makes sense save save and exit okay we were also going to make another adjustment to the map I'm going to click it then the pin okay so I'm just going to zoom out farther I'm going to give it three clicks this time apparently it's not the same as what you preview it as to what actually shows up <laughs> so we have to do several iterations of of changes to get get things precisely what the way that we want them all right that is awesome now we're talking so now we got a nice color background behind the photos makes them pop out more the map is looking great it's even got the address here so I mean one other thing that we could do so if we click this it doesn't it doesn't take us to a map so we don't have an actual map linked um, so that would be one thing that we could change or add if we wanted to have something that said directions where you can click and it would take you to a Google map um, but other than that I mean everything is looking good uh, we just want a nice footer down here so let's see what we can do with the footer um, I've done with all the media library so we're going to go to appearance uh, menus well, let's check out the widgets first too and see if we've got oh yeah there we go so we got footer area one two and three so actually we can make four footer areas I didn't really count on doing four of them uh, I really only planned on doing three footer areas Oh, actually I did four okay so looking back to the plan here we go so about events volunteer and blog so we've got four areas so let's see what we can do there okay so the first area should be the about section so do we have an about we have who we are okay which is just a single page so we'll have to make us a custom little menu for that section Okay, so since we're done with the home page, I'm going to use this tab to go to the menus. And I'm going to make a new menu. Create a new menu. I'm going to call this one about. And then let's see, what do we want to add? We want to add who we are. And free services. I don't want to put the volunteer. That's going to be another section. Events is going to be another section. Walk if you use is going to be different sections. So maybe I'll add our services in there. Maybe it should be services instead, adoption. Okay, so we'll add all those to this menu. 
then we can go from there. All right, that gives us four of the pages. Save that menu. So actually all these were under the help center. Classes, services. Okay, so we'll just have it titled differently. So I'm gonna go back to my widgets. I know I'm clicking through fast, so now I'm on my widgets tab. Um, and if I add a custom menu to the first menu area, add widget, Okay, select the menu. Okay, so did it, maybe I gotta refresh my page. Save menu here. I'm gonna put this tab in the middle. So maybe I have to I may have to refresh my page because I got so many tabs open. So I created the menu over there, so now I'm trying to add the widget. So now custom menu, footer area one, add widget. Uh, now I got it twice, so delete that one. Okay, here it is about us. And I don't know if I want to use the title or not. Um, maybe we want to call it um, Help Center. I'm not sure. It was supposed to be about us, but it turned into be about Help Center. Okay, so the second one is supposed to be Events. So this is going to be this is going to be fun. So we've got event locations, events calendar. Um, I think this is pulling from our event section over here, which I don't think I have set up, but I'll put it in there anyway. Um, we only want to show the next two events, I think. So this is kind of an automated widget. So if we have any events in there <clears throat> that people can register and sign up for, then it'll automatically show up in the footer. Um, and then we've already got the sliders and ads set on the home page to link to these. You know, we just have to add the link. We've got the design set up. And then so the third area is supposed to be the volunteer section, which I think we're going to have to make another another menu for that. And let's go look at the website, see what we have regarding the volunteers. So we've got get involved, volunteer and sponsor registration. Okay, which okay, so there is a page there. Get involved. I just want to make sure there's content on each one of these pages. There's a form for the volunteer and a sponsor registration. So all that's filled out. So we'll go create a new menu for volunteer. Create menu. Okay, and then we want Okay, what do we say we wanted? We want to get involved. Okay, so let's hit view all here. I think I got some items missing. There it is. So really we want to add these pages. Get involved. There it is. Volunteer sponsor a walk I think those three for sure save menu again now we're back on the widgets tab I'll have to refresh this page because I just created that menu okay so then we can add a custom menu to number three add widget okay we want to choose volunteer save you can put a title here if you like, so um, which is kind of nice sometimes, but I'm gonna wait and see what we, what it looks like over here in the footer area. Um, the fourth one we want to be the blog section. So let's see, well, there should be a blog widget here somewhere. Pages, recent posts, that will work just fine. Add that to number four. Add widget. Okay, so five might be too much, so. So let's do three, and then I do want to title this community, so I'll have to go back and title all of them. So that's community. This is volunteer, which may be redundant, redundant because one of the links is called volunteer. Um, this one is called events, so that one's already titled. And we called this one help center, so that one's titled. 
So all the widgets are titled. So we're gonna go back to the home page. Scrolling down, and there we are. There's our. So when we create events in our events custom post section, they'll automatically show up here. Uh, we got four links here, three, and well, this is three, but it broke into four lines. But it's it's okay. It looks fairly well well balanced. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. And and the colors are the colors are okay. Uh, so that's using our blues and our and just gray is neutral. So this looks pretty good. I'm I'm happy with the way this comes out. We'll um I'll talk to the um, to our donor to uh, Safe Choice and see if they're happy, and then we'll make any adjustments from there. Um, we should test each one of these pages. So here's the who we are that works. I'm gonna hit uh, Command Left Arrow to go back to the home page. Same as hitting the back button, <clears throat> but this is just a real fast way that I can test and make sure all these pages are are linking up correctly. Here's the email us. Okay. So really we're trying to help people as much as we can online first and then um, and then we want to also raise funds to help these people. So it looks like that's right. We didn't link up our register buttons yet um, because those events haven't been created. Um, and then all of these should work automatically because we just added them from the library so these are all looking great um, so the other thing is the the Facebook and stuff the social stuff and they can add those in if they if they want them or hide them so okay so that's it we're all done this is the Divi theme so I'm not sure how long that took us um, probably about an hour um, we were able to redesign the entire website um, and I just want to show you guys if you want a free home page design uh, you can go to shepherdsloft.com and I'm offering this for the uh, for the sign up for the business the business is a little bit different so I'll show you so you just go to the website scroll down you hit the business button uh, and then it'll take you to the product page it's three hundred ninety six dollars for uh, the first six months and the big advantage here is it works out to be uh, about $66 a month. But the advantage here is you get the, the professional and licensed uh, SEO plugin. Uh, you also get a reliable email delivery and uh, automated social distribution plugin. This will be licensed as well. <clears throat> so you get some extra things besides just the, uh, the basics. Uh, so this is kind of an upgrade. Uh, we're using the Divi theme. And so you can just hit the quick buy here and pay for your first six months. I'm also going to have a form for you to be able to submit your content, and it'll be kind of in the same structure. And I will design your homepage just like I did Safe Choice. So if you want a free homepage design uh, and free migration, just go over and purchase the first six months of the Business WordPress hosting. And I look forward to uh, helping you out with your website design.